It's hard to explain because I don't see martial arts as people see it. I see it as a relief. When I have a problem, I can fight. And not, not, not necessarily a fighting problem, just like a problem in your house. You have something that is bothering you. You just go fight, give your best. You just can have a good night of sleep. And I like Jiu-Jitsu because you can go 100% each fight. In Muay Thai, you can go 100% with one fighter. But then he's done or you're done and you can't keep fighting. So if you have an anger there and you can take it out, you can't because your body can't resist more fighting. But in Jiu-Jitsu, you can stay eight hours in the gym, spar four hours, mess around, but you know that if you really want to take all the things that you have inside, you just let it go by fighting 100% with people that want to fight 100%. And at the end, you're, it's going to be your friend. There's not going to be nothing wrong with him because you didn't break nothing. You can tap. So that's a cool part. And it's a nice therapy because a lot of my friends are like me. We just like to fight and go there and go 100%. We know with whom you can go like that, but... But always respecting that I'm not going to break something, but I can use all my strength. That's something I really like about Jiu-Jitsu. I don't think any other sport has it. That's a, they always say Jiu-Jitsu is a, is a light martial art. They, they start explaining it like Aikido, the movement that goes, the flows. It, it has, it, Jiu-Jitsu is it's a lot of things. It can be that too, but it can't just only be that. It has a lot of strength. If you have a strength in movement, you can break. Because you can use your momentum, your body. You have to know yourself very well to do this sport. To be good in this sport, you have to know yourself, you have to know your body, you have to know your composition. If you a, have a big belly, you have to know how to use it. If you have short arms, you know... You have to learn how to choke with choke with short arms, long arms also, big legs. You have to be careful also because you can always get into a leg lock. It's difficult to escape. So Jiu-Jitsu itself is very particular. It's not like like in karate that I will teach you how to do, throw a punch, and everybody has to throw the punch like that. In Jiu-Jitsu, each body is so different that the technique you have to move it. Like, I can teach the same for a short guy than to a tall guy. There's always these little things that you have to change. So Jiu-Jitsu itself, it's a martial art that breaks bones. That's how I see it. You can neutralize people, but neutralizing, neutralizing is grappling. If you're breaking, that's Jiu-Jitsu. That's how I see it. And what... When people talk about jiu-jitsu, they're talking about Brazilian jiu-jitsu. How, how does that differ from because Japanese jiu-jitsu? Jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu is, a, is a Japanese jiu-jitsu that it has a strikes. And samurais used to use it to neutralize. It was like a judo. But they specialize in killing. <laughs> That's why when this guy, Elio Gracie, uh, learned it from... This dude. So Jiu-Jitsu was originated by this dude called Maeda. His last name was Maeda, I don't remember his name, but Maeda was a killer. So he killed a big dude in Japan. So Japan, uh, Brazil has the most Japanese besides Japan in the world. It has like a big community. So the Japanese government wanted to kill this minister. So they hired the best killer they could find that was Maeda. Maeda killed this minister and the you and the minister said like okay you just kill this good dude we are going to hide you. So they sent it to Brazil where the Gracies found them because Elio's father was like a big also minister in Brazil he knew what was going on. So like oh this dude is boring he just came maybe you can make him teach something to your kids because he's a badass and then he started uh, teaching this Elio's older, older brothers. Elio was thin and he would look at the class and he was like, oh, maybe, like what I was saying, that, oh, this works for him because he's strong, but I'm thin. How can I make this possible for me? 
So he created his own martial art that is called Jiu Jitsu. That is a martial art that works for you. Each one has a different Jiu Jitsu. And that's why it's called like that. And it's different by the other one that is like, if you do this, 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 it will work. Well, yes, but I'm, I'm super weak. So from part one to three, in the number two, I have a problem. Oh no, it won't, it won't be able to, to work. And then it just said like, okay, maybe if I go like this, I go like this, I will make it work. That's how Jiu Jitsu is created. Now, Luta Libre. That is the other side. My teacher was Roberto Leitao. He was Elio's friend. He was uh, Olympic in wrestling and judo. He was a uh, five degree, I think, in judo. And he started saying, oh, these new locks you can find, these new submissions. So Elio, like he was from high class, he started teaching high class people. And, and Leitao, that was low class, he started teaching like in favelas, in other places. So he would train no gi. That was fir the first fight in Nogi. The, the, the fighters in that moment were Roberto Leistao ones. And the uh, other ones that would use the Gi were the crazy ones. And do you think that the Nogi was just a matter of money? It like? was money. It was uh, resources. They mm -hmm. couldn't afford or they couldn't have a uh, Gi. So they started, and like Roberto came from, uh, even he came from Judo, like they used the Judo Gi. He came from wrestling too, so he started doing like American Jiu Jitsu that is called right now, but in Brazil. So before that, before American Jiu Jitsu, before Nogi, it was Luta Libre. And he was really good. Like my teacher Roberto was Marco Rua's teacher that he fought in the UFC and he was be in the corners. And Jose Aldo would sleep in the gym, and the first black belt Jose Aldo received was from my teacher. So it has like a nice history, but I, I can go to a favela in Rio de Janeiro and train with no problem because I came from that line. But I can also go to a crazy one because I used to train with Clark. So it's, it's a nice opening to have everything. You always have to learn from everybody something that can offer something to teach. That's why I think about Jiu-Jitsu.